Hello everybody and welcome back to Samatsa on Base. Today we're reviewing a Alembic Stanley Clark Signature Deluxe. Um, this one is 30 years old now. It's been with me for 25 of those 30 years. It's been a very, very reliable base. I've used it uh, a lot on production shows, in the studio, uh, and at gigs. It's um, very, very versatile and very high quality. And just a little bit of history on Alembic. Alembic was founded in 1969 by uh, Ron and Susan Wickersham, who are still the current owners of the business. At the time, they were trying to improve the sound systems, amplification of bands like Jefferson Airplane, the Grateful Dead, uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash. So they started off making uh, improvements to the electronics uh, that the band used and one thing that they noticed was that the uh, electronics in the guitar were rather lacking for what they wanted to do which was produce the purest possible sound. So the company started with a philosophy of uh, and the name Alembic suggests uh, an Alembic is a, a vessel for purifying chemicals uh, distilling them down so I guess it translates into the base that we want the purest sound that we can get from the string and that's what the the base should be constructed in the method to give you that uh, so then they you know along you know with people like Stanley Clark they, they started becoming a, a, a bass oriented company they make a lot of nice guitars don't get me wrong but I suppose because of uh, people like Stanley they will popularize their, their bases a lot so uh, this particular model is a short scale 30.75 inches it's a neck through construction it has superb electronics it has an adjustable nut it's got a beautiful uh, brass bridge with a with a with a sustain block underneath it goes into the body this beautiful uh, brass bird tail piece brass covers for the control cavity and the truss rod cover and speaking of the truss rod cover there's dual truss rods in here and they allow you to adjust each side of the neck independently and this actually works because the g-string doesn't move as much as the e-string uh, you can set that side a little bit flatter than than this side to get a beautiful feel all, all the way across and that works this has a mahogany core bird's eye maple top and back it's a maple neck with i think purple heart stringers which give it a lot of stability and you can see in this area here where normally a lot of uh, a lot of manufacturers will put a volute a little bump here because that's the weakest part of the neck right there that is laminated and those laminates give this area a lot of strength stable and and the idea was to push all of that energy back into the string. So you have the full range of frequencies this string can produce. And then you use the filter system and the EQ on your amp to deduct what you don't want or boost what you do want. And to create unique and beautiful sounds. And I'll just set the amp flat here. And what happens here is we have a volume and a balance control and then we have a filter knob sorry I'll bring that up a bit a filter knob for each pickup and a cue switch for each pickup and what how this works if I go um, to the neck pickup and I turn the filter all the way down which is 300 Hertz cutoff halfway fully open uh, that goes from 300 hertz to 6000 hertz um, so it's almost like a, it is just a it's just a, a, fil a cut off filter a low pass so you can take out um, or put in as much brightness as you want when you flick the Q switch down so it's on get a, a wah-wah effect 
and that puts a little boost at the cutoff frequency. So down here it's a little boost at 300 hertz. Right? And up here it's a boost at 6000 hertz. So you can hear a lot of brightness there, right? And you've got one of those for each pickup. So if I roll up the uh, the filter on the neck, uh, the bridge pickup, with the Q engaged, so I get a boost at 6000, and I roll down the filter on the neck pickup, and I mix the two together. If I put that filter in now on, on the 300 hertz at, at the uh, neck pickup, sound changes remarkably. Uh, filters on, both pickups and wide open. A lot of glassy highs, right? So I'm going to leave the cues off so it's flatter. And both pickups. And now I'm going to have a little bit of a play with the amp. And I'm going to cut the mids a bit. the bass a little bit and the highs so you notice that every change that I make even in the highs there's there's something there to boost or cut the the philosophy that the energy goes back into the string and that you have the full gamut of tone in there and you deduct what you don't want uh, actually works. E every change you make on the amp, however slight, translates into a change of the tone of the instrument. So, if you're looking for that super bright scooped slap tone, it's there. If you're, um, if you're looking for a, a woolly uh, sort of P bass, If you're looking for a bridge, a uh, bridge pickup, it's there. And the cue helps you zero in. And to the tone that you're looking for. So, very, uh, very versatile. And, <coughs> pardon me, and uh, construction is superb so uh, you can see that the entire base and I'll just unplug that and bring it closer to the camera from the the bird uh, tailpiece to the brass bridge all made of the Lembic there's a block under here there's a brass block that sits in the body there's the astounding pickups the astounding woods, the uh, brass truss rod cover, and all of these screws, front and back, they have brass inserts. So you can take these in and out as many times as you want, you will never damage the wood. Uh, if you look really carefully along the edge there, you'll notice that between the ebony fretboard and the maple neck, there is another veneer the headstock has a lot of veneers to give it strength front and back the body mahogany core maple top I think that's purple heart in in the middle there uh, beautiful fretwork really low action achievable because the platform is so stable. So, uh, the base is the base is relatively heavy, especially if it's small size. It's not unwieldy. It's just it's on the heavy side. I don't, I've never measured the weight, so I don't know. I'm guessing it's about nine pounds or something. So, um, but the construction is flawless. 
Uh, it's worked for me for 25 years. The pots are not noisy. As I said, I can put this right next to the amp. It doesn't pick up any noise whatsoever. Uh, studio engineers love it because it doesn't make noise. Uh, it's extremely quiet, extremely versatile. It's a base that it's a large investment in money, but will last you a lifetime. Um, you'll get a lot of joy from playing it. So if you think about it in terms of um, what you're getting for your money, you're getting something that will stay with you your entire career if you, if you like it that much. So if you look at the, the Alembic website, which I suggest you do if you're at all interested in this type of instrument, uh, you'll find that I think at the moment the entry level uh, bases are around uh, 7,000 US list and there's a lot of options available all the way up to the Series 1, Series 2s which are tens of thousands of dollars, something like 25 and 30,000 or and they still have options available. Um, everything about Alembic is about building something for you. So every piece that I've seen on that website is a sort of unique work of art that somebody said, I really kind of want, you know, this um, uh, flame maple wood and I want an ash core and, you know, somebody's come up with it, I want an inlay here with my name on whatever it is, they can do it. They don't produce hundreds of bases a week. They produce custom ordered bases uh, in small numbers. There's a lot of care taken to build the instrument to a high quality. The electronics in these, superb, right? That's the word to use, superb, fantastic. Um, so you're getting a base that's tailored to your specific requirements. Now, what, what price do you put on that? Somebody has to actually, you know, go and find the wood. It has to be seasoned properly, so it's stable. You know, they've got to put it all together again properly. Uh, a lot of this is largely handmade. It takes time. That's where the cost is. But when you hold it, you can feel the quality. That's what I'm trying to say here. You can actually feel the quality of this instrument and it's remarkable. So you're getting exactly what you want. And it's the sort of bass where like I've, you know, I bought this and hang on to it for a quarter of a century. And I probably, uh, if I survive long enough, hang on to it for another quarter of a century, hopefully, and, and play it because it is a wonderful instrument. So it's saying, uh, you know, I've kept the bass for 50 years that cost me, I don't know, $10,000. Uh, you know, what's that over 50 years, really? So it's, it's not too bad. Uh, if you go and spend uh, 1500 2000 on a base, you know, every couple of years, you would have spent more money. So it's uh, not for everyone. As I said, some people find them too clean and clinical and all the rest of it. Uh, I find it uh, very playable and allows you to play stuff that uh, is harder to execute on other instruments of uh, lesser quality. And I'm not putting anybody's instrument down here, but if we're looking at um, at the quality uh, and playability of the instruments, these are at the very sort of high end of, of the custom uh, builders. And, and there's a lot of custom builders out there, and I encourage you to check them all out because everybody has a slightly different philosophy on sound and tone and how to achieve it. I just happen to like what Alembic have done here. Uh, it suits me to a T. It's easy to use once you get used to it, and the playability is uh, is flawless, right? So, uh, by all means, check them out. We have ordered an Orion, which is more of a, an entry level set neck, not neck through like this, but set neck. And the reason for that is it gives you a slightly different tone. Plus, the uh, top horn is longer, and there's a crescent shape at the back of the body and the neck goes into the body and is glued in so the joint here has no bump whatsoever so it gives you excellent access to the upper frets 34 inch scale we've done some stuff with the woods and the electronics on that it has a si single uh, a single filter with a Q switch some really nice pickups uh, wood combinations and all that and it's going to be interesting to to see what that sounds like uh, compared to what I sort of had in my head when I 
started thinking about those combinations. And we'll review that when it arrives in about six months, uh, near the end of the year. But uh, all I can say is uh, I'm very pleased with this base. I'm very pleased with Alembic. They take the time to tell you what works and what doesn't work and make suggestions along the way. Um, so there's a lot of uh, dedication and passion being a small family owned business that goes into building these. So I figure that, um, you know, in the world of mass production, um, it's, it's just a little uh, shining beacon of, of customization and, uh, and top end electronics and stuff that's noteworthy that you know we should we should acknowledge that these people have been doing this for such a long time they have a lot of experience they have a lot of love for it and it translates into beautiful uh, works of art that you can play so i hope you enjoyed that little tour of uh, filter systems and alembic bases i want to thank the people of alembic for um allowing me to exercise uh, and talk about so many options in the new build. It's really, really uh, very nice of them. And I'm looking forward to receiving that new base. So any questions, pop them in the comments below. Happy to answer them. And until next time, keep well, keep playing bass and keep making music. God bless and take care.